Have you been spending more time at home? Before you answer that, I hope that your answer is yes, because I don't want to spread the coronavirus to more people and more people getting sick. But anyways, if your answer is yes, and you are spending more time at home, here are seven different ways that you can make money without leaving the comfort of your home. What's up everybody, Michael here. Welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to be going over seven different ways that you can make money without leaving your home. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right in to number one. The first way is to become an online tutor. You don't have to be a college professor or a high school teacher to become an online tutor. If you know English, and you know another language, you can help someone and tutor them in that language. If you are good with graphic design, you can tutor someone and help them with graphic design. There's so many different sites that you can help tutor people on. So all you need to do is go into Google, search up how to make money as a tutor online, and it'll pop up with dozens of sites that you can apply for and you can start helping people and start earning money. The second way is you can become a freelancer on sites like Fiverr and Upwork. And the way these sites work is you register for the sites, you say what you're able to do, what you have skills in, whether that's graphic design, building a website, making tutorial videos, whatever you're good at, you say what you're good at, you set your rates, and then people will pay you to do those jobs for them. So if someone has a website, they need you to help with graphic design, well, they'll pay you to help them with graphic design. If someone wants you to make a video, you, they can pay you to make a video. So there are dozens of different jobs you can take. And at first, you might not get so many jobs at the beginning, but over time, as you build up your reviews and you get more and more jobs done, you'll start to make more and more money. The third way is to sell your photos online. What I mean is that if you take photos and you have pictures of nice backgrounds, of mountains, of buildings, whatever you have photos of, you can sell those online on sh sites like Shuttershock. The way it works is you upload your photos to a database and then professional editors or organizations and just graphic designers in general, they can use your photos on their websites and every time they use your photo, you get paid for it. So this is a great way to make money and build up money over time because as your photos become more popular on these sites, more people will use them. If they have, if you have a picture of a great background, a great sunset and people really like it, well, you can make a lot of money over time. The fourth way is to create and sell online courses. No matter what you're good at, whether you're good at baking, whether you want to teach someone how to make a YouTube channel from A to Z, whether you want to help someone with math and a certain subject, let's say algebra, no matter what you are good at, you can create an online course for that and sell it to people for whatever price you want. Whatever the value you think it creates, you can sell it for that price. Sites like Skillshare, Udemy, Sites like Learn World, all of these different sites allow you to create your online course and sell it to people. By just creating your course and selling it to people, won't be enough though. You'll have to advertise that some way. To get started, what I recommend is that you start sharing on your social media, you know, posting about it so people know that you have this course. Because without making people aware of your course, no one's gonna buy it. But if you make people aware, you can make a lot of money. The fifth way is to invest. We all know that you can invest without leaving your home on sites like Robinhood, where you can invest in stocks. Weevil, which is also for stocks, but you can also invest in real estate without leaving your home. Buy real estate properties, invest in it, let the value go up over time, or you know, it could go down, but you could invest. You could also invest in art, classic cars. You could do all of this without leaving the comfort of your home. You just buy different products online, make different investments, and these are great for long term. If you're looking to make a quick buck, looking to make money today, these probably aren't the best option for you because you're not really building a business, it's an investment. So you're holding on to it for five, 10, 20 years from now, and that's when you're looking to see your return. So unless you have some extra money sitting around to invest in an asset, I wouldn't recommend investing in anything right now because if you need that money to live and you're looking to make money right away, these aren't a good option for you. The six ways to create a YouTube channel. You can create how-to videos on YouTube. What I mean by this is if you don't know what you wanna do your YouTube channel on, simply create how-to videos. And what you do is you can type in on YouTube how-to. See what different topics come up. It might say how to wash your car, how to bake a cake. I don't know what would come up, but you search how-to, see the suggested videos, and see what you are able to do. Because by seeing what's suggested, you know that people are searching for this. You know that people are doing that. So you'll be able to make a video on that topic. If you make it with an interesting twist, you're exciting, you're interesting to watch, you'll start to be able to build up an audience. And over time, this audience, as you get a bigger audience, you'll be able to make money from YouTube 
ads and Google AdSense. So that's a great way to build up an audience and get a consistent source of revenue as you build up your subscriber base and your views. The last and final way is to create a blog or a podcast. What's really great about these ways is that you don't make money today with these, but over time, they really pay off because every single person that listens to your podcast or that reads your blog is really invested in you. They like watching you. It's completely different than someone liking a post on Facebook or Instagram. If someone listens to a 40 minute podcast or they read a 10 page blog post, even a one page blog post, they're very interested in you. They want to know what you have to say, what they want to read, what you have to write. They're invested in you. So over time, you'll be able to build up that base and every single person you get is really, really valuable in the future because with sponsors, you could get sponsorships where people pay for you to mention a product or talk about something to do a review. And you can also make money by then selling stuff to your viewer base later on. So anyways, creating a blog or a podcast is great because these people are really invested in you and over time, you'll really be able to make money doing that. Anyways, so that's all I got for you guys today. Those are the seven different ways that you can make money without leaving the comfort of your home. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please like the video down below, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.